Hello Lolas, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, so guess what? A lot of people have been like, I miss Noah. Where is Noah? Like, and I know I've been real petty because it's been all about Nigel. And so I just decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and bump him up into the rotation because I'm trying to go through all the babies and he needs to be changed too so he can match Noah. Well, I mean, Nigel, Nigel. Um, anyway, that, that's crazy because I put Nigel on the outfit that they were supposed to match and then I end up putting Nigel on something else. So I got to put him back in the other outfit. Anyway, enough of that. Guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video and leave me a comment below. I, I do read all my comments and I am going back through my comments right now and commenting replying back um anyway guys so oh my god i did his hair last night so it's completely dry let me see if you guys if i can zoom into this boy's hair look at look at that little stank of pearl. so you know i i've gotten several offers for Noah, I guess because I hadn't showed him and I guess people were like, well, she's not showing him. She's going to sell him soon, you know, type thing. Let me get over here and start doing what I'm supposed to do because I get to talking right in my mouth and I get distracted. So, so yeah, so I've been getting a lot of offers to buy Noah, like, hey, if you sell Noah. <laughs> so, um, I don't have any intentions on selling him or Nigel um, you know that's the way it usually go but you know how it is at some point you might be like um yeah I gotta sell one or something else come out major but <laughs> this is where you guys might hate me might judge me but I'm just you know I keep it real <laughs> Oh my God, you look so cute in this diaper. I don't even know if I want to change you out of this diaper. Oh my goodness. I was going to just put him in a plain diaper, but. Oh my God. I'm starting to like when the diapers get like crunchy looking, like starting to look a little worn because I think it looks just so realistic, you know. Anyway, that's me and mine. It's just my imagination. Running away with me. It's just my imagination. Running away with me. Okay, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even know who's saying it. Is that? Um, I don't know who it is. Anyway. So, so yeah, so about that. So then people, a lot of people have been asking me, like, if you had to sell one of them. And they said it in the very beginning. I'm like. Um, I don't know. Who's your favorite? Okay, so I know who my favorite is. I know who I would sell if I had to sell one. If I absolutely had no choice and I just had to sell one, you know, let me move this draft so I can pull this light over a little bit. So when I get in the way, it don't, still don't like mess them up. So yeah, so I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I have... Even though it's, it will be the hardest, ooh, the hardest thing I ever um, had to do, I know who I like the most. I'm not going to say, but I will say this. <laughs> Don't hate me, guys. I'm so petty. I'm so petty. The girl is petty. She's so petty. Sometimes they call her Betty. Petty, Betty, Petty, Betty, Petty, Petty. Okay. Anyway, I'm so petty. I, um, unless, listen, unless it's to save one of my kids, you know, I'm about to be homeless. And it's just me in my mind right now. Maybe my mindset will change later. I wouldn't want to sell them just because. I don't want to see some people with my baby. That's so petty. I know. That's so petty. But that's how petty I am. Even if I didn't want him, I'd keep him. <laughs> oh, is that petty or what? That's petty. 
I know. But, um, so I wouldn't be able to make that choice. But I'll be honest with you guys, you know, when you have two very expensive dolls um, in your collection, that that is one of the thoughts that you have, like, hmm, you know, subconsciously, like, well, for me, because, you know, I'm always wanting to buy something else. And it's kind of like, that's all, that's been my, my problem here lately, is that because, you know, I... I buy, I sell to be able to afford to buy. Um, my problem had been for a long time. It's like when I had Puck, I couldn't do nothing unless I sold Puck or, you know, another baby. And, you know, um, Puck was probably my most expensive baby next to Noah, I think. And it was like, I can't let him go. I can't let him go type thing. And so, you know, I got to a point where I loved my collection so much till I didn't have babies that I want, that I was willing to sell. Just showing you guys him on his back. That I was willing to sell. And so it makes me not be able to get new babies. And I kind of just kind of was just stuck with the same babies because guess what? I didn't want to let go of the ones I got just to get a new one. Of course, that's when the the rumors got started that, you know, I was broke and desperate and my stilettos weren't working no more. But um, the truth is, is that I had babies in my collections I just didn't want to let go. And the only reason I let Puck go, let's be very clear, the only only reason I let Puck go, because I had taken him down and everything, and I had been telling people no when they contact me that he wasn't for sale anymore. But when his mommy that has him contacted me, and I know she how much she loved Puck, and she's such a good person, and she rarely sells her babies, which is Sansan on um, YouTube, I... um. I, I I told her yeah and I was able to do it so then I went foolishly spending money on other babies that I normally probably wouldn't have bought and so now I'm actually in the process of selling them because I need to put money back for Nigel but I really kind of locked myself up and that that happens there's two ways that you can mess yourself up when you really can't afford this hobby one way is when i sold dolls before in the past i did a remodel on one of my on my other house i did a lot of had to do a lot of work over there and i spent my doll money the money that i sold my dolls for in that house so, when I did that, of course, that made me tight with how I spend on dolls. So, that's one way. The other way is when you invest in dolls that really are too outdated that nobody else wants. Or you sell your dolls for way, way less than what you paid. And then you lose money so much money to when you get ready to buy a new doll because the prices have gone up you can't afford them anymore so it's a couple ways that you can push yourself out of the buying market and I've done all of them I think at least except for selling my dolls way less because I'm telling you I will let a doll sit I will miss out on the opportunity to buy a new doll before I just give one of my dolls away because I know what I have and a lot of my dolls are very um usually are pretty rare finds or uniquely painted and stuff like that so 
I try to, and, and that's not bragging, I'm just telling you guys just why I don't devalue my, my dolls when I get ready to sell as much. You know, sometimes I want a quick sale and I don't mind. I'll take a couple hundred dollars off. I mean, I think I took, the biggest loss I took is when I, I'm not going to say the, the doll name because the mommy is on YouTube. But when I sold that doll, I think I lost about three grand. Um, so that's the biggest loss that I've, I've taken. But yeah, it, it it's, you know, that's, that's the way it go. But yeah, so I'm pretty petty. Um, I love both of my babies. They're both extremely beautiful. Um, their coloring is lovely. Um, both are highly detailed, but there is one that I love more. And I mean, not just, yes, I love them more. No, I love them more type thing is like completely a yes. So I know without a shadow of doubt that which one I love the most. <laughs> um, I know which one that if I absolutely had to, that I would keep, but I'm never going to say that. <laughs> um, but I will say that I, I had to admit that I thought about it. I said, Oh my God, that's so petty of me. Like, why am I so petty? I'm so petty. I'm so petty. You so petty, 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 petty. I'm going to take his pictures. After this video, wookie woo, wookie woo, he's sleepy, my sleepy boy, my little, I am the king, yes mommy, yes. <laughs> that club teller is amazing, amazing, yes honey, she is definitely the true definition of a master artist to do what she do in silicone is crazy like you know I have some people that I really admire in the reborn side of the world but for me silicone is so far much more difficult to paint so I just I have to say she is definitely the queen of the queen and and she's amazing in um, vinyl as well but to do silicone is a whole nother animal and to get the detail that she get and the neatness and the translucent um, to where it looks so realistic is just beyond me. And I think the more and more I start to paint, the more and more you start to your eyes start to open up to stuff. It's just like, you know, so many things that I've like, oh why are they doing that or why don't they do that and then when you start painting you're like oh my god this is hard okay now i see why her dolls is like that you know it's like <laughs> you know and then it's like even with like pricing and everything you're like okay i see why they call they charge this okay i see why they do and then you start eating your words but i am just i don't know that's just me but oh my god i just want y'all to see his hair let me see if y'all can get if y'all can see it. Let me see. Let me see if I can put some more light on this boy. Put some light on it, baby. I don't know why everything gotta be a song. But anyway, it's really pretty in in, in person. I um all I did was the same thing I did with um Nigel is wet it with the toothbrush and brush it and let him just lay last night until and it just dried. And he was ready, but that's mama boy. Yes, it is. That's a Noah poo poo poo. That's a stanko wanker poo poo poo. All right, guys, I'm about to go so I can snap pictures real quick. <laughs>